All right, so a lot of the comments end up getting from you, man, are understandably um, to do with controller. Co I mean, there's not a lot of controller content creators out there. You know, like more time when you watch a, a brawl video, there's always the click clacks of a keyboard in the background, right? So, like I said, it's, it's understandable that I get the questions about controller because, yeah, the, there's no one else to really ask questions to. Um, and uh, I've made one video in the past about, uh, I was going to say about the weapon, uh, about, I guess, the input device. Lance. <laughs> anyway, um, but I never really went over certain things. I, mostly, I just talked about um, input delay because that is uh, a pretty big problem, uh, you know, that a lot of controller players face. But an even bigger problem is is misinputting. Like, I, I think you know when you look at controller versus keyboard, that is probably one of the the bigger disadvantages, right? Is how easy it is to misinput when you compare controller to keyboard. Like I said. Because, I don't know, especially if you play um, analog stick, right, which is mostly what I'm going to get into. Uh, I also talked about, um, what did I talk about? My, my control layout, that's the one. Uh, so I'll probably give an update on that as well in this video, because uh, I probably changed some things about since, uh, since the last one. So yeah, if you are interested in that, then stick about. But um, yeah, before I talk about anything, uh, if you do enjoy my content, of course, quick plug coming. Uh, and you're not already, consider subscribing. Uh, it really helped me out. Uh, a lot of you aren't. So yeah, if you want to save me from that algorithm, consider doing that. And maybe liking the video too, if it does go on to help or you just enjoy in general. So um, yeah, first of all, analog stick and D-pad. But yeah, analog stick versus D-pad. That's like an age old debate between console players or controller players in general. Um, I think, well, not even I think, it, pretty much 100% more people play um, analog stick, right? It's kind of natural that they would as well, because if you think, the first time you pick up a game, you're most likely going to be playing on, on, on the stick, right? Because most games are played on the stick. You might not even know, unless you play fighting games, that you could play Brawl on the D-pad when you first start. So, it does make sense that more people, you know, play analog stick, because, like, when you first play the game, if you play a certain way, that will most likely transfer to, you know, the rest of the time you spend on that game. Like, it, you just, you get comfortable doing that thing and then you never change it, right? It, it makes sense. But, yeah, I think it is worth, because, like, even I started playing on Analog Stick. And then, when I knew I could play on D-pad, because, like I said, I didn't even know I could, uh, I instantly switched. Because I just thought about it and I was like, would it not be so much easier to input stuff on like a linear control scheme where it's like you press right and a right press happens not like you have to angle your thing at, you know specifically 30 wait 45 degrees oh my my, my engineering knowledge nearly just disappeared on my head um, but yeah it's it's more finicky for sure and like even if you think about it in in like a in like a, in theory right like um in practice as well it is definitely actually i don't know because until you're used to it i'd say d-pad is really finicky too because you know for the diagonal presses you have to press like two at the same time but when you learn like to like slide your thumb over the buttons and stuff it honestly gets really really easy it, it's just it's like a really different way of you know controlling your character and just playing the game in general uh, i'm not even gonna lie it is it is a hard change to make but the quicker you do decide to make the change the easier it's gonna make the change right like the more time you spend playing analog stick, the more like, you know, the more used to it you're going to get and the more comfortable you're going to get on it. And the least, or the least, <laughs> the less you're going to want to change that, obviously. And it, that goes for like basically everything, right? So I don't know. If you do want to change at some point, make it now. It's the same with a lot of stuff, actually. Like, um, like people on keyboard, you press up to jump, right? That is a change that has to be fixed one day if they ever plan on, you know, becoming past diamond or past diamond past even probably silver right it's well i don't know there's pro there's definitely diamond players out there who play with up to jump on but yeah y you know you know what i mean you understand what i'm trying to say it's a change that has to be made eventually uh, so it, it's definitely better earlier than later i think a lot of your knowledge though with movement and stuff will carry over like quite well between analog and d-pad um for example i, I can play analog stick pretty decently even though i've never ever like actually played it i played it for a couple days when my controller broke before uh, and that was it in my entire like a brawl career right 
my, my entire Brawlhalla life, lifespan, I have never actually played Analog Stick. Uh, apart from, like I said, when I first started the game for, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks or something. Uh, but yeah, I don't think any, any knowledge actually transfers, um, you know, you, you actually retain any of that first week knowledge. It, it's probably a good thing that you don't, to be fair, but yeah, that is, um, that's the only time basically. But now, uh, like I'll play Analog Stick right now. I'm right now playing Analog Stick and, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, maybe it's not fantastic. That was supposed to be a GCD light. Um, we don't need to speak about that. Okay, it's 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 fine. Uh, I'm gonna go back to D-pad now, though. It's yeah, it's um, <laughs> I'm not gonna put myself through that anymore. Um, but yeah, you don't have to. You definitely don't have to. Like, if you have tried D-pad at some point and you're like, oh my god, there's there's zero chance I can ever get good at this control layout. Like, I'm just literally harming my gameplay even more by trying, right? And it's never gonna work out. I don't know, my my hands are too deformed to press, you know, diagonal inputs, then don't even bother. Honestly, if it is that bad, you, you can just leave it. Like, for example, Cosilix plays analog stick. Yeah, it, it's not like a, a must that you have to play um, D-pad to, to, I guess, get to a higher level, right? Because you can do it on any control scheme. You could probably do it on like Donkey Kong bongos, right? You definitely don't need any certain type of playstyle at all right you know involving control layouts you know weapons anything to succeed you can succeed in any shape or form in this game but i just think objectively you're gonna miss input less and even with that example if you think of cosilix right and then you think of uh, any other controller pro player uh, for example um what's his name crocky he plays controller but he plays d-pad and then cosilix obviously plays um that's death the weapon pro Obviously, oh, never mind, that's, that's death for him. But, um, yeah, and then Cosilix plays Analog Stick. And if you just look at Cosilix playing the game of Rohalla, you'll see just how much he miss inputs. It is a lot. This guy doesn't dodge also, and it's it's quite... That grandpa missed? Hello? hello? Get, uh, anyway, um, yeah, you can just see how much he miss inputs. And then if you watch Crocky, I guarantee he miss inputs like 10 times less. Because, you know, that I don't know, he's just used to the control scheme that would help you miss input less i mean it's i don't know i, I just think objectively i think it's kind of hard to deny that um d-pad's better uh, like in it basically every single way i, I can't think of a way analog stick would be better uh, same with um dodging with your bumpers instead of with your triggers uh, are you mad are you mad <laughs> uh, how can you be about to lose the game and then oh no 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 <laughs> okay that was that was scary he's, he's dead though oh okay no if i lose if i can imagine the scenes imagine me getting absolutely violated like that in my own video just for me to live of course not of course not but yeah like i was saying um bumpers versus triggers for dodging as well with that most like 99% of people, I was going to say most, but overwhelmingly more people will be using triggers to dodge, right? Because that's like the default setting that the game gives you. You know, there's no default to the movement. It's just whatever somebody actually uses first, I guess. But yeah, you actually have to change the settings. Oh my, look at my inputs. Uh, <laughs> I'm not making a good case for myself here. But um, yeah, you actually have to change this input if you do want to, you know, make the most out of this. But um, yeah, if you think, right, on controller or... Um, well, yeah, on controller. If you press, you know, your full trigger inwards compared to just tapping the bumper, what's going to come out quicker? Like, you have to wait for an entire trigger press to happen before you can actually dodge in this game, right? If you play controller and on the default settings. And, you know, just like basically every other game, the default settings definitely are nothing to swear by. Like, you know, most games, they're, they're harmful, if anything, right, to your gameplay. Uh, for example, and I know this is going to be a really weird, also very cringe example, but Fortnite, when I used to play that back in like, uh, I don't know, when whenever season 3 was, when it was goated, like 2018, um, that game had like, it had like two separate modes for controller, I think it was called like builder mode or something, and one of them was basically unplayable, uh, and it was the default, and the other one was actually like really good, and it was something you could change or, you know, customize for yourself, but it was never said anywhere in the game to do that and you know most people got comfortable on the on the on the shit control scheme 
And then that was it. They never switched to the good one. Uh, or eventually they had to and struggled. Uh, same with this game. They make you dodge with triggers when that takes longer than dodging with the bumpers. And especially when, you know, most controller players are playing on console where input lag is a massive issue. You kind of want your inputs to come out as fast as they can. Especially when, like, there's how many... Let me think. Right. Top of my head, there's at least, like, 10 uh, one door train like strings, like very common ones, like Lance, uh, side lights there, or you know, side light recovery on Lance. Like, those are strings you have to dodge, or you're gonna die and lose your stock, right? And yeah, you couple input lag with also having to press your trigger all the way down. Sometimes it's just not gonna happen. Sometimes that dodge just isn't gonna come out, and you lose your stock, and then you get tilted, and then you complain on the brawl subreddit that Lance is, is fucking broken, but yeah, really, you're just. Not very optimized, or I guess Brawlhalla isn't very optimized, but uh, I don't know. Definitely, yeah, blame on Brawlhalla, it's easier that way. But um, I definitely recommend switching to the bumpers uh, for dodge. Uh, last time I said that though, somebody asked like what that what bumpers and triggers were. Basically, I mean like by triggers, uh, L2 and R2 on a PlayStation controller, and then bumpers are obviously L1, R1. But yeah, I just thought I'd, uh, I'd throw that little change in there on the topic of you know stuff you should change before you get too used to it uh, something else actually that is a very 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 shit um default control thing that you know bmg thought would be a good idea is quick attack to pick up weapons that is i can't put into words how horrible that setting is but before you get used to that and i think i actually talked about this in the last controller video thing that i made but yeah you should turn that off basically as soon as you can and start getting used to you know whatever it is that you decide to set uh, weapon throws. Personally, I have weapon throws set to the bumpers or the left bumper um, or the right bumper even and then left bumpers my dodge um, but yeah it's it's not the one <laughs> it's 100% not the one because like oh, Mordex is, is something truly oh if that grandpa hit would have been the, the dumbest KO I think anybody has ever seen but uh, yeah no that setting is bad for two reasons uh, one, because if you think, right, like, say I'm in this situation now, I'm trying to get this weapon. If I go in there, and I, like, because obviously it's the same button for picking up the weapon as it is for, um, attacking. So I could accidentally attack when I want to pick up the weapon, and then, you know, I get punished because I miss the attack, and I don't get a weapon, and he gets a weapon. And then I'm in disadvantage because I'm unarmed, I don't have a weapon, he goes back to weapon starving. When, in reality, none of that should have happened, because I should have the weapon, and he should be the one who has to fight for it, and he should be the one in disadvantage. But you know, no, they, they've given the same button for two separate actions. So, yeah, uh, you get fucked over. It's it's really bad. It is it is really bad. But um, I'd recommend definitely trying to get used to a different setting. Uh, I, the way to change it um, is to obviously turn off the setting for quick attack to pick up, and then there's not you don't actually change the button to to, to pick up weapons. You change the button that throws it. And then that'll also be the button that picks up, if that makes sense, right? Because uh, for me, I have two separate things. I pick up with triangle, and I throw it with um, with R1, or the right bumper. Which is, yeah, I, I didn't, like, it's kind of hard to know how to set that up, right? Because it's, yeah, you only have one, you, like, you don't have two separate options. You know, one for picking up, one for throwing. You just kind of have to put two things for throwing and then use one for each action if that makes sense so for example i have the right bumper uh set as throw weapon and i have triangle set as throw weapon but i never use triangle to throw weapon so like yeah it makes sense right hopefully it's quite confusing anyway um that last thing is probably just my control layout so i use d-pad obviously uh, is this guy good? oh Good morning. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I use D-pad. Um, I use the right bumper to, to pick up the weapon, or to throw the weapons even. I use triangle to pick up the weapons. Um, I also I use circle to recover, not triangle. Some people obviously use triangle to recover because for some reason it, it, both triangle and circle are set by default to, to recover. I, I don't know why. You know, they could have literally just made one of them to pick up the weapons instead of having you use <laughs> a terrible control scheme. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess live with that. Um, what else? What else do I use as different? Uh, left bumper to dodge, obviously. Not the triggers. I don't use the triggers at all. Um, I use the left bumper to dash and dodge and gravity cancel. All of that. 
Um, X to jump, quite obvious. I think most people uh, use X to jump. Um, I think that's 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 like every control. I, I've just gone over every control. I mean, it, there's there's really not a lot of controls. It's oh, that is that. <laughs> <laughs> my gameplay's gone out the window. I'm trying to think too much about my 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 layout, but yeah, that's that's everything. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, um, yeah, 90 percent, 90 percent sure. I don't know what improved sticks does actually. I was about to say I have it on, but I mean obviously I don't use analog sticks, so I don't think it actually does anything. But like I said, I have it on. Maybe it helps with my taunts because obviously I use the right stick for them. You, you never know. Maybe maybe it makes me be able to salt taunt more accurately or something. I don't know what it actually does in relation to, you know, inputs and if you used analog stick um, to actually, you know, move and stuff. No idea. But yeah, uh, that's that's basically everything. Um, so let me actually, you know, win this game. And then if I, if I, I don't think I will win this game, actually, it's, it's looking a bit dire. I'm not going to lie. Jump. Okay. Maybe. Oh, there's a bit of hope. Oh, there's a bit of hope. The more exciting always brings hope. But um, yeah, like I said, if you have enjoyed or if it's helped at all, uh, consider subscribing, liking the video too, um, would really help me out, obviously. And um, yeah, I would do the outro now, but you never know with EU. This game could last another six hours, so I don't really want to, you know, preemptively end the game like that. So we'll hold off an outro for for just a second. Oh my! Wait, I actually think I'm. Oh. My. Okay. Okay. This is a bit scary. No, 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 no. Oh, please. No, no more says. Okay. I thought he was going to go for the... Oh, that's death. Oh, it's actually death. That's too depressing. Anyway. <sighs> I'm depressed. But yeah, like I said, hope you lot have enjoyed. If you have... Oh, wait, I've already plugged myself. Well, I'll see you lot in the next one. Of course, you day. And peace.